Okay, I was positioned at Sefafrani Lodge and Safaris, which is a resort here in Palo Bora, mostly for tourists, and it's very dominated by people from the Netherlands. And the cool thing about Sefafrani Lodge is they're doing more than just a tourism lodge. They have a community development fund. They have multiple projects, but the one I'm specifically working with is their soccer league. And it, in a sense, it's being used a lot for PR, but they also want to use it for community empowerment and getting kids more involved in like developing an all-star team and having them build life skills not just soccer skills and getting the parents involved and seeing that sport is important in kids lives something other than school to keep them busy after school rather than hanging out on the streets and starting drugs or drinking alcohol so they want to develop a program like that. Here I'm working at Sefapani Lodge and Safaris. And what my project is, I'm actually working with guest sensitivity towards Kruger National Park versus private reserves, which is actually something that I had no clue going in. So my first step was really researching information so that I was on the level that I wanted to be. And I'm just trying to see whether guests have the same satisfaction or come here specifically for Kruger National Park versus going into a private reserve where the difference is you can possibly off-road, um, you can track animals down and go on more adventurous sort of excursions. The projects I'm working on, um, I didn't expect to be this busy truthfully, but um, I'm on three really interesting projects. Uh, one's the internship obviously and that's my main priority, but um, the second one is kind of an optional one that Tato thought would be good since I was an accounting student. Um, he'd like me to look at the books of the local radio station that's being supported by the Palabora Foundation. Well, we're here because uh, we're really trying to branch off to different areas of the community. Uh, one of the key issues with our project is that we're interning, and interning doesn't have to be only at one place, right? We're going to multiple places to really understand how commerce is done here. Yeah, they have an administrator named Opa. He's very capable. It's just that um, the previous management, I think, had a no, they didn't keep the books very much, so he's kind of been left with a mess. And uh, now that they're going for tax status, um, they have to be audited, so he's just trying to figure it out. I think if we work together, we can really find some sort of solution, because he knows a lot more about the local system than I do, and uh, without his help, I don't think this is going to take off the ground. I'm building a model for a Marula village, a tourism center to come learn about the Marula trees. And the only product that comes from the Marula trees right now is the Amarula whereas there's so many opportunities for commercializing the jam and the oil, cosmetics and everything. I feel very well respected because I'm Canadian, I'm a Canadian business student and Mathieu is always like, what are, what are your thoughts on this? Like, we need your, your information and your knowledge and your background. I'm like, just a student. So Majeje Bakery is located in the town of Majeje and it's about, I would say, a 30 minute drive from the town of Palmora. You know, I, I learned how to, you know, bake bread. I learned the, the amount of ingredients that went into uh, bread, uh, the process of baking it, the temperatures, um, the cleanliness. Um, and all those things taught me to kind of break that wall between me and them. And then they started to, you know, eat with me and kind of start talking with me. And I started to... Uh, learn the language of uh, the Sangani people um, and uh, it's, it's amazing how they have opened up over the past three weeks. Uh, the areas of improvement, what I, what I saw and what Mr. Benny has been stressing is, is the financials. Uh, they don't have a good tracking system, I mean they don't track their revenues, they don't track their expenses and that seems to be a bit of a uh, challenge, a bit of a problem because when it comes to getting funding they don't have the paperwork to back their concerns or their challenges. So that's where I can use what I've learned at Saudi to make sure that they're empowered. Look from the, even from the back, look at the oven, you know, the, the condition it's in. You know, Mr. Nobeni has, has actually told me that, you know, he, he is kind of concerned because if this thing, you know, uh, breaks down, then, you know, he's going to have to wait till it's fixed. Just the other day, uh, the bread mixture, uh, he had to repair it, put two bearings in, and then that just shut down the operations uh, for a good four to five hours. I believe there I'll be able to, you know, make sure that hopefully with, with a grant or a loan, I'll be able to get them a new oven maybe, or at least start the paperwork so it might be a reality one day.